Maria Pilar Leon Sabrian, born June 13, 1995, known as Mappy Leon, is a Spanish professional footballer who plays as a defender for Liga F Club Barcelona and the Spain national team. Leon began her career with her hometown club of Prensa Zaragoza before moving on to Espanyol and Atletico Madrid. At Atletico, she made the transition from a left-back to a center-back under the guidance of coach Angel Villacampa. Leon won the first league and Copa de la Reina titles of her career at the club. In 2017, Leon was the first paid transfer in Spanish women's football history when she signed for Barcelona from Atletico Madrid, with a fee of €50,000. Domestically with Barcelona, she has won four Copas de la Reina, three league titles, and two Supercopa Femenina. On the continental stage, she has played in three Champions League finals with the club in 2019, 2021, and 2022, winning the 2021 version as part of the first continental treble in the club's history. Leon previously played internationally with the Spanish national team, making her debut in 2016 in qualifiers for the 2017 UEFA Women's Euro. Since then she has featured in three major international competitions for La Roja in UEFA Women's Euro 2017, 2019 FIFA Women's World Cup, and UEFA Women's Euro 2022. As of 2023 she refused to play for the Spanish national team, citing unequal and unfair conditions. Early Life Maria Pilar Leon Sabrian was born June 13, 1995, to parents Javier and Pilar Leon was raised with an older brother in La Almazara, a district of Zaragoza. Leon started playing volleyball at age 7, and played many other sports as a child including baseball later she started playing futsal for local team Gran Valle, where she played as a winger, around this age, she was granted a scholarship to go to an art school, but turned down the award to focus on football. Leon was discovered by David Magana, a former Zaragoza CFF sporting director, who noticed her and her brother Javi playing football while shopping in a Carrefour supermarket. She began training with the club at age 11. Club career Prince Zaragoza, 2011-2013 After developing with their B team for two years, Leon debuted in the Primera División with Prince Zaragoza when she was 16. Her match debut with Zaragoza was against Barcelona. In 2013, Zaragoza made it to the final of the Copa de la Reina, where they faced Leon's future club FC Barcelona. In her last ever match with the club, Leon started the final as Zaragoza lost 4-0 to Barcelona, who completed their first domestic double. Espanyol, 2013-2014 At 18, Leon joined RCD Espanyol in 2013, where she remained for only one season. Around this time, she began getting call-ups with the senior national team. In addition, she attracted the attention of Atletico Madrid, who finished third in the league in the 2012-13 league season. Atletico Madrid, 2014-2017 In 2014, Leon joined Atletico Madrid to in her first season at the club. Atletico finished in second place in the league behind Barcelona, prompting both Atletico and Leon's debut in the UEFA Women's Champions League. In 2015, Leon debuted in the UWCL against Russian side Zorki Krasnogorsk, where they were defeated 2-0 in the first leg. Atletico later came back 3-0 to win the tie, but were defeated in the round of 16 by Lyon on a 9-1 aggregate score. Within her time at Atletico, Leon switched from playing as a left-back to playing as a center-back under the influence of former left-back and Atletico head coach Angel Villacampa. Leon won the first league title of her career in the 2016-17 season when Atletico defeated Real Sociedad on the final match day of the season. Her performances throughout the season earned her a place in the league's best 11 of the season, as well as putting her on FC Barcelona's radar. During the summer transfer window of 2017, Barcelona and Atletico Madrid underwent a two-month-long transfer saga in their negotiations for Leon. Prior to her transfer to Barcelona, she trained away from the group and later fell ill during contract negotiations. I in her episode of Barcelona's documentary series Dare to Play, Leon recounts how Atletico interpreted this as her faking an illness in an attempt to force through a move to Barcelona. Barcelona 2017 present. On August 24, 
2017, Lyon's transfer to Barcelona was made official, the club's sixth signing ahead of the 2017-18 season. With a year remaining on her contract with Atletico Madrid, Lyon signed for a fee of €50,000, becoming the first paid transfer in the history of Spanish women's football. In her first season at the club, she won the 2018 Copa de la Reina, her first title with Barcelona. Leon kept a clean sheet for 120 minutes against her former club Atletico Madrid, as they won the match after a goal late in extra time. Leon with Barcelona during the 2019 UEFA Women's Champions League final. In October 2018, Leon scored her first ever Champions League goal in the round of 16 against Glasgow City. In 2019, Leon played the first Champions League final of her career against Lyon, where Barcelona conceded four goals within the first 30 minutes of the match and ultimately lost 1 4 against the European Giants. Following the conclusion of the Champions League, Leon renewed her contract with Barcelona for three more years until 2022. In 2020, Leon was named as a candidate for UEFA Women's Team of the Year for the first time in her career. On January 6, 2021, Leon started the first competitive match at the Camp Nou played by women's teams. She assisted Barcelona's fifth and final goal when one of her shots was deflected off of Ana Maria Krnogorcevic and into goal. Krnogorcevic personally credits the goal to Leon later in the month she competed in the 2020-21 Supercopa Femenina, where Barcelona lost on penalties against their rivals Atletico Madrid. Leon criticized the Royal Spanish Football Federation for not implementing video assistant refereeing VAR, in the competition, which the men's version of the competition does have. In March 2021, she was suspended for four matches and fined €601 Euros by the RFEF for criticizing the quality of refereeing in the Primera Iberdrola after receiving a controversial red card against Real Madrid. Barcelona appealed the decision to the Administrative Tribunal of Sport, TAD, and Leon was able to play against second-place opponent Levant in their upcoming league match. Spain's Footballing Union, the Association of Spanish Footballers, AFE, issued a statement of support for Leon, calling the suspension and attempt to curtail her freedom of speech and expression. The following month, she made her 100th league appearance with Barcelona against UD Granadilla. Leon became a league champion with Barcelona for the second time on May 9, 2021. A fan holds a sign for Leon following the 2023 Champions League victory. Barcelona made it to the 2021 UEFA Women's Champions League final after defeating Paris Saint Germain on an aggregate score of 2 1. In the second leg of the semi-final, Leon's centre-back partner Andrea Pereira picked up a yellow card and was suspended for the final. As expected, Leon played the final in a centre-back pairing alongside defensive midfielder Patrick Guillaro, who studied Leon's game to prepare herself for the match. Barcelona's defence recorded a shutout as they won 4-0, the first UEFA Women's Champions League title in club history. Leon was named to the 2020-21 UEFA Women's Champions League squad of the season and was later listed as a nominee to the UEFA Women's Champions League Defender of the Season Award. Following the conclusion of the Champions League, Leon played each minute of the remaining semi-final and final of the 2021 Copa de la Reina. Barcelona won the final 4-2, achieving the continental treble for the first time in their history. Leon won the league title with Barcelona for the third successive season while winning every match in the process. She also won the Copa de la Reina and Supercopa de España. She started in her team's 1-3 defeat against Lyon in the Champions League final. On November 20, 2022, she scored on her 200th appearance for Barcelona in her team's 8-0 thrashing of Alaves in a league game. On June 3, 2023, Mappy played the entire match as Barcelona won 3-2 against VFL Wolfsburg in the final to win her second Women's Champions League title. She started the 2023-24 season at a high level before suffering a meniscus tear in December, a season-ending injury. International Career Leon, top row, third from right, with Spain in 2018. Leon's debut with Spain's senior team came about on September 15, 2016, coming on as a substitute during Spain's UEFA Women's Euro 2017 qualifying 13-0 win against Montenegro, the second-to-last match of European qualifying. 
In 2017, Leon was called up to her first major tournament with Spain, the 2017 UEFA Women's Euro. Spain advanced to the quarterfinals of the tournament where they were defeated by Austria on penalties, Leon captain Spain for the first time at the 2019 Algarve Cup. Leon started all of Spain's matches at the 2019 FIFA Women's World Cup as they made it to the round of 16, where they faced the United States. In the seventh minute, she conceded a penalty after making contact with Tobin Heath in the box, which Megan Rapino scored to put the USA 1-0 up. The match ended 2-1 in favor of the United States as Spain exited the tournament. In 2021, Spain played in a 3-0 win against Poland in UEFA Women's Euro 2022 qualifying, where Leon scored for the first time in her career with the Spain national team. The same match, she wore her mother's maiden name Sabrion on her shirt. The following year in July, Leon participated in the 2022 UEFA Women's Euro, where Spain were eliminated in the quarterfinals by eventual champions England. In September, Leon joined 14 of her teammates in abstaining from national team call-ups, a decision that arose from a conflict between the 15 players and Spain's coach, Jorge Vilda. The group, dubbed Los 15 by Spanish media, later posted a joint statement that explained their decision to leave, citing difficulties with their physical and mental health, and criticized the Spanish Federation for their response to the situation. Leon continued to refuse call-ups to the national team into 2023 and even refused to make herself available for selection for the 2023 FIFA Women's World Cup. Regarding the situation, she said in an interview Mappy Leon has a way of life and values. I can't go back if the situation hasn't changed. There have to be changes. I'm not saying that no changes have happened, but I don't see them. Style of play. Leon is a versatile left-footed defender, possessing the ability to play as both a left-back and a center-back. She is mostly utilized as a ball-playing center-back, with her main characteristics as a player being her quality technique and passing. FIFA profiles her as an aggressive player with good reactions and reading of the game, former Atletico Madrid manager Angel Villacampa, who aided her transition from left-back to center-back, has described Leon as having the perfect connection to Barcelona's style. With her ability to distribute the ball up the pitch and her preference for playing in a high block. Personal life In 2018, Leon came out publicly as a lesbian in an interview with Spanish newspaper El Mundo after being out for many years in her personal life. I in the same interview, she spoke in disapproval of the 2018 FIFA World Cup being hosted in Russia due to anti gay purges in Chechnya. I in 2019. Leon was a headline speaker for the commencement of Madrid Pride. El Mundo labeled her as one of Spain's top 50 most influential LGBT people in 2018 and 2019. In 2021, she was a part of Levi's Beauty of Becoming. Campaign for LGBT Pride Month. As of 2022, she is in a relationship with Barcelona teammate and Norwegian international Ingrid Sirsted Engen. Leon has a passion for motorcycles, which was influenced by her father, who is a mechanic. She also has an interest in drawing and painting, and has multiple tattoos. Her first tattoo was a small one on her foot, which she purposefully got in a discreet area to hide from her parents. Point one of her most prominent tattoos is that on her neck, which reads looks can be deceiving. She practices tattooing on her own hands and feet, and in 2021 was interning at a tattoo shop. She has stated that she would like to focus on her tattoos and tattoo design after retiring from football.